1800 Frederica Street, home to one of the most storied schools in the Commonwealth, an institution that is no stranger to success. The hallowed halls of Owensboro High School are lined with accolades and accomplishments, a collective of academic, artistic, and athletic greatness dating back to 1871. Just outside the back doors of Senior High, situated on the southwest corner of campus, sits Rash Stadium, an iconic venue that in nature and capacity exemplifies the district's guiding pillars of tradition, innovation, and excellence. Commonly and affectionately referred to as Rash, we come together this year to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the home of the Red Devils. In the last century, Rash has played host to countless events. Graduations and dances, field days and band shows, powder puff, pep rallies, and so much more. But the beginnings of this fabled stadium are rooted in a fabled program that's left an indelible mark on this community, state, and nation. The Owensboro Senior High Red Devil football program is one of the oldest and proudest in America. Boasting nearly 800 wins, the tradition of excellence that is OHS football dates back to the late 19th century. The squads of the early 1900s alternated playing home contests in fields near Legion Park and the former fairgrounds of Southside Park. By the early 1920s, community momentum to build a stadium on the grounds of what was to be the new Owensboro High School had grown. Spearheaded by local physician Dr. O.W. Rash, an early 20th century version of crowdsourced funding delivered. The first OHS football game played at the new athletic field with seating only on the west side of the stadium occurred on October 20th, 1923. Though Dr. Rash declined an official stadium dedication, the community began almost immediately referring to the stadium as Rash. And by the time the first night game was played at the stadium on September 15th, 1933, the name had stuck. But more construction was on the horizon as Dr. Rash had not yet realized his vision. Through more fundraising and community donations, Dr. Rash procured funds for massive additions, which included construction of the east side of the stadium, a concrete wall around the perimeter of the complex, and a press box atop the new grandstand. The first game played after the conclusion of the addition was on September 12, 1941, a game the Red Devils won 26-0 over Dawson Springs. More than 60 years would pass before Rash would undergo the major renovations to bring it to the state we now know today. Following the 2005 season, synthetic turf was laid on the playing surface, and in 2013, a metal grandstand was constructed just north of the field and designated specifically for students and the band. As the home of the Red Devils hits the century mark this year, we look back on this pillar of our community, the memories it holds, and those that are yet to come.